Okay, so again, today we are doing another episode of the D-Rangers Five-A-Side team. Uh, today's a very special episode because I've been boosted into the chair, and out of the interviewer's chair. So very kindly, Dowdy, the veterans manager, is going to come in and interview me for my Five-A-Side team. Thank you very much. So this must be hard for you, especially, what is it, 10? Ten? Ten, years, ten years, yeah, ten years. That's a lot of players. I yeah. see a lot of good players. Also, not side, not so good players, <laughs> sadly, but like I say, you've done an amazing job. So, what formation are you going to go with? Uh, I'm going to go dead simple one defender, two midfielders, one striker. No goalkeeper. Little diamond shape. Yeah, goalkeeper, goalkeeper one defender, two midfielders, yeah. one striker. Simple, classic. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> say now, what you're going to pick the five yeah, first. Yeah, Push I don't mean to upset anyone either. That's <laughs> the thing. You know. You're going to, whether you I'm like it or not. All right, so first, who's going to be your keeper? Goalkeeper, uh, Croggy. Um, for years of service, uh, he's my uncle as well, obviously. I watched him play for years and years and years. Um, quality player, every single position, everyone in Chester knows him. Um, and though D Rangers was probably towards the latter end of his, his days of, of playing, he was still unreal. Years and years, especially when we went up to Section A and he was getting man of the match every week and we were getting batted. Um, tough choice, but he's he banged up there for me. Yeah, your next player, defender? Uh, defender, I'm going to go with somebody that was there when I first started. He was just a kid and he progressed his, in the years he was there. And eventually, when I took over as manager, I made him captain of the team. That's Dan Brownlee. Um, unfortunately, he left us to go and play higher standard football, but great young lad, really good young player, fantastic attitude, tackle anyone for you. And he was a good laugh as well off the pitch. He was a good lad. Yeah. Next player then? A midfield two. Um, really, really tough to pick two players. Really tough. One of them stood out straight away. First one is Jesse. Uh, unbelievable footballer. Unbelievable footballer. Um, still turns in on Legends Day. Still plays for us every now and then for the bets and stuff. And what a player. And what a lad as well. You know, everyone speaks to him in such high regard. Um, on the ball, fantastic. Off the ball, fantastic. And he's no right to win as many headers as he as he wins. Such a good player. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's going to add you know, some real class to a decent five side team. Yeah, it's second midfielder. Second midfielder, uh, Gary. From the, from the current side, he's been top goal scorer from midfield. He's played in goal. He's played unbelievable in the games, and you can see the difference when he is in the side. Um, fantastic footballer, really, really solid, really good, um, and a, another really good lad. Always down the pub afterwards. Great laugh, great person to be around. Thank you. Away from the pub, that's a question. Well, you know there is that. You know it's a big issue. Well, then the main one, the very full point. Yeah, He's number nine, there. number nine, centre forwards. Uh, Gary's brother Adam. I think in all the time I've been at the Rangers, um, even the even the year when I played, we haven't had a better centre forward when I when I played number nine I scored virtually every week but I, was, I didn't have the fitness I didn't have the ability on the ball or certainly not off the ball and the head as he wins the link up play for me in, in 10 years he is bang up there as, as the best centre forward I've seen play at, at this level um, but I think what edges him over maybe the goals that Tom Wall scored or, or the ability of Joe Rigby is that he's been doing it for three years and not just, just one season some good players missed out in that position, really good players, but three years has, has got a trumpet, hasn't oh, it? Definitely. Yeah. So, and the yeah, last of all, your sub? Sub, uh, another really, a really tough choice, bit of a, a difficult one. I think I'm going to give a special mention to Jordy here because he, he's played every position for me, but he doesn't make the cuts. <laughs> <laughs> he's played everywhere from in goal to right back this year, he's played centre back, and he's always done a solid job, but. Uh, Five, he just can't cut out them diags, so five sides not for him. <laughs> it's not for him. Um, so if we are struggling, we need to win the game, and the physicality is not working of, of Gaz and Adam, we're going to bring Curly on off the bench. Another player I've played Lucky with. <laughs> no Jason. <laughs> no Jason, no. Uh, Curly I've played with since I was 10, and uh, every team we've played in together, we've had a laugh. And, uh, you know, it's, it's difficult to replicate that with other players, the relationship we've got. I know where he is off the ball. and he knows where I am off the ball and I know what he can offer the side, so he's got to be in there, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going with Krug in goal. Yeah. 
Dan Brownley. Dan Brownley at the back. And yeah. then your two midfielders of Jeff C. Yeah. And Gary Wilson. And your guys twin, yeah. Adam up front with left footed wonder, Curly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Happy? Yeah, as happy as it can be. <laughs> yeah.